I love fighting games, however, in order to appeal to me, you need to have some wicked character designs, and it doesn't get much more awesome than Fulgore from Killer Instinct. This figure is based on this beefier Xbox One incarnation, which is incredible, so I was really hyped when Ultimate Source announced that we're gonna make the first ever Killer Instinct figures. Starting off with the sculpt, it's pretty good, I mean, it looks like Fulgore, but if we're going closer to the face, you can see that the mouth plate isn't centered properly, the paint on the face is a bit off, and the eyes aren't symmetrical, and the mouth plate has some scratch that kicks my OCD to the ground. He's also sculpted in a sort of semi-pre-post way that isn't helped by the crappy articulation. There are no feet joints, so if you want him standing up straight he looks like he needs the bathroom and his lower legs in general are made with really gummy soft plastic that feels super cheap. For the articulation itself, he's got a good range of motion in his knee hinges. Then further up, he's got what first appears to be ball-jointed hips, but in reality it's just a crappy swivel, so he pretty much has the dreaded useless V-crotch. He can sort of kick his opponent if you're into that, but it's just a terrible design choice. Moving up, he's got a waist swivel and proper ball jointed shoulders that can move up and down and outwards. He's got no bicep swivels though, which is annoying, but he does have a 90 degree bend in his elbow. Unfortunately, he's got no wrist or forearm swivels, which limits posing drastically. Moving up to the head, it sits on a ball joint. The articulation is very limited, however, due to the cables that connect to his neck. For accessories, he's pretty light, but it's passable. He comes with a display base, an alternate head, his plasma blades, and an alternate set of blades that looks to be pure metal. The head is easily replaceable, and the blades, like the original ones, are a really bad fit for the forearm holes. They're also really soft and gummy and easily warped like the originals. Closing thoughts, this figure is a big disappointment. The lack of useful articulation really hurts a fighting game figure and it really doesn't live up to the fully poseable note on the box. The rest of the series has even worse articulation, so I skipped those completely even though I really wanted that Hisako. I even asked Ultimate Source on Twitter about the articulation and while I couldn't find my specific post, I found a similar tweet asking the same. Now, hear me out, wouldn't it be better if they sculpted a basic figure and made it fully posable so you could put the figures in the pre-post pose already, along with, like, every other pose? Why have one pose when you can have them all? Marvel Legends has done this for over 10 years, so it's not like it's something groundbreakingly difficult. Imagine having a Ryu figure that can't be posed into a Shoryuken pose. It's just really crappy design, 5 out of 10.